Hidden way down in the depths of the overworld, a mighty beast awaits any challenger that dares step foot in his palace. He may not be able to see, but even the faintest sound can alert him to your location, resulting in almost certain death. You can probably already tell that what I'm describing is the Warden, and the way I just portrayed him is what most people think of when encountering the Warden. But what if I said people had it completely wrong? Okay, well maybe not completely wrong, but the Warden is far from invincible, and if you stick around for the rest of the video, and you know, maybe even possibly like and subscribe, you know, if you want to, you will find out just how vulnerable the Warden can be, and the ways it can even be taken out. Even though the 1.19 Wild update was perceived as a disappointment by the community, it still brought a lot of new content into the game, like the Deep Dark, Ancient Cities, and the Warden itself. I think because people thought 1.19 was a disappointment, they wanted to create artificial hype around the best part of it, so they wouldn't feel dissatisfied with the update. This is what really led to the whole stigma of the Warden being this unbeatable mob, and YouTubers knew this, so they made content about how OP the Warden was, which made the stigma even more popular and the cycle would just repeat itself continuously. And I'm not trying to say that the Warden is an easy mob to take down by any stretch, but the fact that people instantly ruled it out as unbeatable because of what they heard on the internet, now that's where I think the problem lies. The Warden, although hard, has a few key weaknesses that the player can exploit. One of those weaknesses is the fact that liquids, whether that be water or lava, slows the Warden down greatly and can save you from his charge attack. His other weakness is ranged combat. And even though Minecraft added a sonic boom attack so it can still hit you from far distances, it still hinders his full power and allows the player to escape more easily. Now that we know the Warden's weaknesses, we can combine all of them to plan out his assassination. You will first need to trap him somehow in a pit where he can't get out. You can do this in many ways, but if you use trap doors, it will probably be the easiest as the Warden will think the trap door is a regular block which will make him fall right in. Next, you will need the pit with uneven flowing water or lava so that he will be bouncing up and down. Lastly, all you need to do now is grab a bow and start shooting from a distance. In this way, the Warden can't leave as he is trapped in a pit and his sonic boom attack won't work because he will be stuck in the bouncing animation. The Warden doesn't sound so tough anymore, right? Well, it's still a force to be reckoned with for sure. And even though it can be killed, that doesn't mean it won't be tedious. And at the end of the day, there's really no point to kill the Warden either, as they literally only drop a single Skulk Catalyst. And even if you kill the Warden, there's at least a dozen other ones waiting to be resurrected throughout the ancient city. I think at the end of the day, Mojang wasn't trying to make a god mob that was impossible to kill, but rather a way to make the ancient city a challenging and treacherous task that only the bravest would attempt. So if you take anything away from this video, it should be that you don't always want to believe everything you see on the internet. And even if something looks true and honest, it may very well not be what it seems under the surface.